Okay, I'm hearing a lot of talk these days about how people are scared that the government is like hacking into our iPhones and like listening to our conversations through our Alexa and stuff like that. Like, I get it that there's some concern there to be had, but can we back it up a notch or two? Like, it's a little low-key arrogant to assume that the government is worried about what's going on on your social media accounts. Like, let's slow down a little bit. I was at Walgreens the other day and the cashier asked the woman in front of me, she was like, uh, can I have your email address, please? And the lady like loses it. She's like, okay, I don't give out my email address. Okay, Sandy, what do you think the government wants to do with access to your Gmail account? First of all, you're buying a Coors Light tall boy and a bag of Cheetos for one, okay? So let's back it up on anyone being particularly interested in what's going on in your personal life. Second of all, what exactly do you think they would do if they got into your email account? They would find like a buy one, get one free at Bed Bath & Beyond and maybe like an evite to your niece's wedding shower. Like slow down with anyone caring about any of that. Like let's look on the bright side for a second. The other night I was watching Captain Phillips on um, just on network cable television while I was working. It was on in the background. I wasn't particularly watching it, but I do like the movie. Later that night when I was in bed, I was scrolling my YouTube and I got a sponsored video that showed up that said, Captain Phillips, the making of and behind the scenes, is this really true? And I was like, dude, that is crazy. It's like 1984 in here. Big Brother is paying attention. And then I watched the entire video. I was like, this is very informative and entertaining. Thank you, Steve Jobs. Or thank you, Steve Jobs. I don't know where he is. I'm just saying it was very, it was very helpful that they were paying attention to what I was ingesting on a day-to-day -day basis. Let's give them some credit. And let's also not act like our iPhones and cell phones, RIP if you have an Android, but like, let's just not act like they haven't saved our entire lives on many occasions. Have you ever been driving without your charger in a city that you're not familiar with and you're in the middle of nowhere and you're like, if my phone dies, I am dead. If literally my phone dies, I will die out here too. You ever, like, this happens constantly. You ever been almost out of gas in like a rental car or something like that? And you're like, type in gas. It takes you directly to the gas. You're like, thank you. If I didn't have that, I would be dead. You ever been in a city where you wanted to get something to eat and you weren't familiar with where the nicest sushi restaurant is? You type it into your phone and you find the best shrimp tempura in town. Like, why are we crushing them for knowing our information when they help us over and over and over? We treat our iPhones like we treat referees like we only bring them up when they screw up like granted iphone and itunes have had a, a several major screw ups that was way across the line but other than that they help us time and time again and it's 2020 we would all be dead without our iphones i need that thing at all times like you ever sat down to go to the bathroom and forget your phone you're like ah what am i doing in here what a waste of time i need that thing at all times, I was on a jog the other day, just like running and like enjoying a jog, enjoying the day. And then my phone ran out of battery and I was like, I guess I should just run in front of a bus. Like what's the point of even being out here? I'm just saying, I appreciate when the ads and the content is directed to me. Like remember back in the day, like before the ads were doing this, remember we all had to watch daytime television and we all had to watch the exact same commercials. Remember that? There was like, have you ever taken Accutane? You're like, what? Dude, look at this. I mean, no, I clearly I haven't taken Accutane. Skip this commercial, but we can't. We gotta watch it all the way through. Like, why am I watching a commercial about a scissors that can cut a penny in half? I have no interest in ever buying that ever. And now, like, if you watch daytime television, it's like, here's a gorilla glue that can that can piece a boat back together that has been sawed in half. I don't have a boat or a saw. I don't need any of this. Give me the content that's directed towards me. Are you not listening? Please, somebody pay attention. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I listen to a lot of country music and I love Kenny Chesney. Huge Kenny Chesney fan, always been. Spotify is usually on the greatest hits. And the other day I was scrolling Facebook and an ad came up for a Kenny Chesney tour coming up next year. And I was like, dude, that's crazy. They're listening. And then 
I bought the tickets to the show. Like, come on. Like, they don't bat a thousand. I'll give you that. Lots of times, commercials are not directed to me at all. Like, this has nothing to do with me. Neither does this. Okay, maybe, all right, maybe that one. I'll give you that one, maybe. But I'm just saying, everyone's freaking out all the time that the government is listening. Okay, they're not. They might be, but like, let's slow it down a little bit. My roommate, we just got an Alexa, and my roommate, we just turned it on. He's like, dude, you gotta whisper. You gotta whisper. Alexa can hear us. I was like, dude, Brandon, you're sitting on the couch watching Maury at 2.30 in the afternoon because you got fired from Quiznos. I don't think the government is wants anything to do with anything that you're doing, nor do advertisers. Actually, this should be proof that advertisers do not care about what you're doing because if they did, they would take you off the list. They were like, hey, no, we saw Brandon's checking account. There's $5.36 in there. Yeah, just remove him from it altogether. It's like the government is not track, and he thinks the government is like, has a GPS tracker on his car. I'm like, why would the government care where you're going? You're in the Captain D's drive-through right now. Like, I understand a lot of people don't trust the government, and I get it, but let me just say, I think the government, for the most part, is trustworthy. Okay, other than that, usually, for the you can trust what the government is saying. Okay, well, that was in the past. I'm just saying in recent history, there hasn't been anything that would make you think that the government would be misleading. Okay, fine. Okay, listen, I guess you got a point. But let's back it up a little bit with people thinking everyone wants to get into your iPhone and get into your social media. And maybe there's a greater conversation that can be had here about propaganda or manipulating elections to force certain issues. And I understand that. And we should always keep the government in check. But like, let's slow down, Linda, on you think the government is like trying to get into your Pinterest account. What do you think? Like Jack Bauer's over there, like trying to hack the mainframe to see what kind of recipes you posted this week. Um, He's not. Let's back it up. I, for one, don't particularly mind it. Me and my buddy Isaac We're talking on the phone the other day about uh, we're big Atlanta Hawks fans. And I was like, dude, we should buy a Trey Young jersey. And we were like, yeah, that's a good idea. And then later on my Instagram, I saw an ad for a Trey Young jersey. And then I bought the jersey. I was like, thank you. Finally, someone's listening to my needs. This is helpful. Everybody knows this about me. I play a lot of golf. Always have. Always will. I talk a lot about golf. I text a lot about golf. Share golf memes all the time. As soon as I created my TikTok account... That thing was just full of golf-related content, instructional videos, and jokes. And I was like, dude, this is wild. How do they know that I love golf? And then I watch and laugh and share at every single golf video. It's like, listen, let's not knock the government totally because now I can hit a three-wood out of the fairway. So let, let's call it even is what I'm saying. It's not all bad and it's we're we're we're, we've been misguided if we think the government is interested in conversations or things we're putting on the internet like they don't care okay how did okay i haven't even released this yet how do y'all know that i'm okay you're are you listening no shut this off shut this off